from Valley News Live. Hey, starting out the work week on a quiet note, but it doesn't look like it's going to stay quiet for long. A couple of chances of more wintry weather for some of us and wet weather for the rest of us. Uh, spring season brings challenges with temperatures, and we've certainly seen that over the last couple of weeks. Our exiting storm system still impacting the Duluth Superior area and the northern parts of Wisconsin tonight, and we do have a fair amount of clouds remaining from Lake of the Woods straight south into the Alexandria area, but a lot of sunshine breaking out, and it feels fantastic, even though it's still mighty cold. Take a look at these temperatures. The white line here, Hutch's freezing line. Inside that circle, we have freezing temperatures, Devil's Lake, Grand Forks. And we talked a little bit about our Easter system that skirted right along the Highway 2 corridor. And as it did so, it dumped and delivered anywhere from four to eight inches of snow for Cavalier. Numerous reports of four or more inches from Grand Forks through Thief River Falls and Crookston as well. Lower snowfall amounts for Fargo 2.1 officially, but some areas around here saw a little bit more than that. We have 37 in Oaks right now. Now the winds gustiest down to the south and east where we do have a few gusts to around 30 miles per hour still, making it feel wind chilly. Not a spring term Hutch likes using. Tonight, the clearing continues to spread through the area, and then as we go into your Tuesday, the clouds build back in. Overnight, where we have the deeper snow, uh, say Cavalier through Grand Forks and into the Crookston area and into northern Minnesota, some of you could briefly dip into the single digits. And by morning, look at temperatures. They'll be rising here in the Southern Valley. So quieting winds early overnight. Then towards morning, southeast, uh, southeast winds will move their way in at around 15 miles per hour, bolstering temperatures to close to 20 for many of our southern counties. Heading through your Tuesday, temperatures will be in the 30s for most areas with snow as we begin to melt that. Now where you see the green arrows, it gets gusty over 30 miles per hour. Again, another windy day here in the valley. It looks for the most part to be dry. I cannot rule out a renegade sprinkle as a little warmer air mass tries to punch its way in. It's what happens by Wednesday morning that we'll have a wintry mix taking hold. For your drive time on Wednesday, we could have rain and heavy rain where you see the yellows and oranges making this way in from the south and west, pushing north and east. Already we could have some areas of snow in northwest Minnesota where we got a little bit more this last round. Look at this. So we go into the mid morning hours towards noon. Bands of purple, that's heavy snow. With the heavy rain, that makes sense. That's the convective snow that can produce one to two inches of snow per hour. It does look like most models do agree on this track. Rain, south, snow, northwest Minnesota primarily. But look at the timing on this system. It's a fast mover, and that's a good thing with snow rates that heavy. I still expect accumulation of sloppy, wet snow on roads in northwest Minnesota, but by drive time it's out of here and the wind really not a factor with this system until afterwards. So rain south, maybe one to four inches isolated places in our far eastern counties could see a little bit more than that. So four plus in parts of eastern Becker through well Hubbard and Beltrami counties in the Red Lakes area. Fargo quiet for your day tomorrow. We start out on a warming note, but it will be breezy. The clouds will limit that sunshine, even though temperatures will be warmer than they are right now. We're talking mid and upper 30s and parking it there. A dry day for almost all areas. The warmest weather down to the far south near the South Dakota border will be near 40. Nobody even seasonable, though, with average temperatures that are well into the 50s for this time of year. Nick Hole, thank you for this interesting Lake Star shot there as the uh, Ice continues to create wonders on our bodies of water. Here's a look at your forecast. There's your wintry mix on Wednesday. Snow north and rain here in the south. 48 in Fargo, 47 in a quiet day Thursday. We have a multi-day system that's going to impact the region again with rain, snow, wind, thunder could be possible for us. It starts as rain in Fargo on Friday. How about 51 near 60 on Saturday with wind and a chance for thunder while it's snowing out in the western Dakotas. And significant snow could make its way in Saturday night into Sunday into our area, mainly north of Fargo. We're going to track this at multi-day system with you because it could bring some areas more than a foot, Stacy, of snow once again. This has been an unbelievable spring with wind and with heavy bouts with precipitation. And we'll continue to monitor this for you through the week. Updates here and, of course, on our Valley News Live weather app. All right. Thanks so much, Hutch. Wow.